Good morning guys! I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to Savage or Gaming with me, Teddy. And for this video, we are going to talk on how you are going to transfer or access your existing accounts in SOS to the new version in PC or on your laptop. Since a lot of you are asking me if where you can download it or how you are going to switch your account, we are going to cover that for this video. So without further ado, let's go down to business. But before that, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, so the first one, of course, is you need to download the PC client via the link below. Check the description box or the comment section of this video. I'm going to pin the link for that. Second one is before we proceed on how you're going to switch uh, between accounts, so let's talk about the pros and cons of using the PC client. All right, so what are the pros and the cons of using the PC client? The first one, it, it has less CPU or memory usage than emulators. So the first two pros are less CPU or memory usage compared to the emulators. So you guys know that I've been using Mimo Play, Nox, Bluestacks, as well as LD Player. And basically, a state of survival PC client use less memory as well as the CPU. The second one is that the PC client runs with 32 bits. The downside of the software is that it is not macro friendly. So for those who are using macros when you are healing during SVS and other stuff, you can use macro for this one. The second one is that the currency is also different. So it's not a straight up buy unlike a Google Play as well as App Store where you can just buy packs directly. This one is pretty similar to the Huawei App Gallery. So it's like you buy diamonds and then you use the diamonds to buy the packs. Another downside is that only the global ABKs can actually use this PC client at the moment. And like I said, this is not officially launched. I think this is only exclusive for streamers in the game, but apparently someone sent me a link so I was able to download this. So I'm also sharing it with you guys. Once you install the app and you're ready to go, open the app and but don't click that enter button because clicking that enter button without adding your credentials to it will just open a new game in a new server for you to be able to record or add your credentials of your previous or existing accounts all you gotta do is click that hazard icon on the top of the screen as well as you want to change or tweak your settings click that diamond icon right next to it so once you click that hazard icon it will give you an option of your account center or your switch account so your account center it will give you an option to log in your fun plus id your phone number your Facebook, as well as your Gmail. In my case, I am using Gmail accounts for both of my accounts. So I registered or I clicked switch account and then uh, log in using that email. You can add as many emails of your accounts there, but the sad part for this, unlike uh, Bluestacks where you can do multi-instance for this one, it's only one account at a time, guys. So after you added your account via the account center or you switch your account using your Facebook, your phone plus ID, your phone number, or your Gmail, click that enter button now and it will load up and it will pop another tab. So right guys, that is also another downside of this app. It's because it doesn't automatically open the game on the same tab where you are going to add your accounts but rather it's going to open another tab and it will run your game there it's that easy guys and in my experience i haven't experienced that the tab crashed or sometimes my game or the visuals gets wonky but that's it but i you know uh, this app or this PC client is still under development and they haven't officially launched it yet But I've been using it instead of the emulator instead for a while But of course, it's a different thing when it comes to SVS and other stuff All right, so that's it for today guys and also just a reminder guys that don't buy using your PC 
Instead, log in your account on your phones and buy directly from there because like I said, if you are going to buy using this PC client, you will need to buy diamonds before you can buy the pack. So that's it for today guys and I hope that this video is going to help you and for those who need translation in different language I will be adding this guide on how you're going to switch or how we are going to use your PC client on my website.